Hey y'all, this is the collector on the corner's wife, Debbie. Looks like Randall has finally come out here and just a little bit I'll be back coming this way. Beating down the, I gotta get a bolt. the grass. And there's her name, Randall and Debbie. In case you don't know who we is. Uh, so anyway, he's uh all I got to say, about time, he, he, uh, it's pretty grown up out here, and to keep the state from spraying, you've got to, uh, mow, and he, Randy said he would mow in front of his, and there's a sign, I need to make a bigger one, and it's getting faded as heck, uh, and Randy said he would mow, and Randy hasn't been doing it. He's been kind of a little bit on the lazy side. And the kids and us, we walk through the ditch to go get the mail. Kind of hard to walk through the mail when you gotta walk, uh, go walk to get the mail when you gotta walk through uh, grass as tall as you are. And of course he told me to hurry and come out here and Good video, and where's he at? He's looking for a bolt. A bolt, I tell you. He's looking for a bolt. This could take a while. Hey, Mr. Swifty, yes, Mr. Swift. We should be scared, but we're not. Hey, I'll take you on a guided tour of our road ditch. This is our road ditch. It is a grown up road ditch. Here is where people fall off, especially seminize, because it's not much of a wide turn. They need more room. Need more room for tarting. And I smell wild onions. And I don't think he's cutting. Well, maybe it's cutting. Let's just say it's doing a, a terrible job, in my opinion. Smokerinos. Okay. 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 So you'll be coming around the curve. Okay, he told me to go back this way. Guess we can look at the stop sign. In case y'all ain't seen a stop sign in a while. My brother used to have one in his bedroom. Many, 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 many moons ago. Yeah, I've got a lot of minis in me. Many, many, minis. But anyway, there's where the trucks sometimes fall off and right over there is where they sometimes run through the fence and there's a creek on the other side that end up in the creek which is I feel bad for them Yes, I'm kind of wibble wobbling. Oh, I hear the tractor coming. Yeehaw! Great day in the morning. 
Boy, my tablet is dirty. I'm going to have to clean it off. bicycles that you're interested in let Randall know because he'll probably swap you <laughs> a bicycle for a bicycle <laughs> don't ask me where he got his bicycle idea at he gets real good ideals sometimes. Well, to him, to me, it's like, oh, well. And evidently the kids don't care that he's hung the, their toys up there. I guess they weren't playing with him anyway. Uh-oh, here he comes. He's a coming round the corner. Here he comes. Yep, see if I can locate him. It's so bright out here, sometimes I can hardly see. Oh, there he is! He's not doing a dead blasted thing! I'm gonna have to give him a thumbs down on that. He's supposed to be mowing the grass. <laughs> Uh-huh, where'd the other one go? And one broke, went bad, and uh, I was only running on one. See, right down here on this pulley. Yeah, I see it's it. supposed to be two. I see so it. So what I'm going to have to do is go town and get two new belts. Shoot the dog. Hayes down there will have them. Yeah. That boy that bought Hayes. Good Lord. Okay, folks, what we got here? It is dark. What we got here? What have we got here? I'm a farm old guy. You're a farm old guy. But I got a piece of crap. John Deere backhoe. Uh-huh, piece of crap, John Deere. The brakes Deere. ain't no good on it. Power steering ain't no good on it and everything. And I run across this little tractor here. Uh-huh. Through a wide eye industrial, John Deere. Yes. And it was cheap. I bought seven hundred and fifty dollars. Uh-huh. Engine locked up. Uh-huh. And come to find out what had that engine locked up was the water pump was froze up. Uh-huh. And they tried to crank it with that froze up water pump and burnt the starter up. And I fixed the water pump with Chevrolet shaft and stuff cut down, RTV silicone. And that's a Chevrolet back end on that with the John Deere nose on it for the starter. Uh -huh. it didn't cost me nothing. I changed the oil in it, been using it. I changed the oil in it yesterday. Yes. It's got this mid-mount sickle bar mower. Mm -hmm. And that little cab on there keeps the sun off you. The hydraulics is real touchy because it's got a great big pump like you'd use for running a backhoe on the front of it. You got an oil link right there? What? Looks like it's leaking oil right over there. That may leak a little. Do you know the price of oil, mister? There's something leaking. It was probably hydraulic oil. But anyway, I ain't never power washed it. It's got this mower on there. And that's real handy. I don't have to keep looking back. And for some reason, the State Highway Department, and they was the original ones that owned this. This thing has mowed many a mile along the State Highway Department. Oh, it's government joking? surplus. Okay. And when I get $750 for it, I figured the back tire is worth that. 
And I was going to take this mower off and put all that backhoe and loader off my backhoe on it and have me a good backhoe. But it's just so handy. But it's not really good for a tractor because it don't have a three-point hitch and it don't have a PTO on it. And State Highway Department, for some reason, they have decided that this year they wasn't going to mow along the highway right away. Because gas is too expensive. All they do is drive a truck down there with that guy's hand out and spraying poisons. They spray yeah. poisons all up and down through here. Yeah, I know. You I, know. I don't like it. So what I was doing, I was mowing along And remember, the we live in the natural state. Especially on that side. I'm Arkansas. It, it don't look like it. It's, it's grown up so tall it didn't fall over. But I've mowed that. I'm going to get over and rake it out of the way where the kids ain't got to tromp through it when they go to get off and off, go get on the bus in the morning. Mm -hmm. Bus stops over there. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yes, sir. That little old bitty motor. Yes, sir. I want to talk about horsepower. Okay. Everybody's always talking about how many horsepower a tractor motor is. That little old bitty motor is about 140-some cubes, less than 150 cubes. They got that sucker rated at 45 horsepower. That M farm all up there, that motor in it is 200 and 48 cube stop. And it's rated at 32 horsepower. Mm -hmm. And that M farm all would pull three of these tractors backwards. If you hooked them all together, that's the M. That motor ain't got half the power the M Farmo does, because M Farmo's got a lot more stroke. And what they do is they put a big heavy flywheel on there. Well, you take the smallest run around and put a big heavy flywheel with a crank and get him get it up to enough speed, it'll make horsepower. Because mm -hmm. it's the horsepower stored in the flywheel. Mm -hmm. the, the, the real... way of knowing how much a tractor will do is a drawbar horsepower. How much it puts out at the drawbar, not how much the engine supposedly made on a dyno somewhere by somebody, you know, it's one of them deals where liars figure, you know, figure don't lie, but liars figure. But anyway, now I gotta run town and get a couple belts. It's always something. But I had a choice this morning. One of my favorite auctioneers is having an auction up there at Donovan, Missouri. Started at 10 o'clock. And I was up at 5, 6. And then I got to thinking, you know, I can go to the auction or I can go back there to bed and lay back next to Debbie and snuggle next to her for a little while <laughs> and then go out and finish putting my mower back together and mow along the highway. So I went back to bed. And what the trouble I've been having with this is that last year, see right there? In that corner? That broke. And I welded it. Jesus, this and is And it dark. broke again. But the last auction I went to, I bought a welding helmet uh -huh. with a great big square deal in it that had a magnifying glass in there. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at that at the auction. Look up, it was dirty, but I was looking up at the sun and down at the ground and stuff. I said, I can see through that. Mm -hmm. So I got that welding helmet, brought it in the house and kitchen sink and cleaned it all up real good with Debbie's hot water and all that and dish liquid. And I went over, and I've actually got some weld on there like I used to could put on back in the day. I, I just about guarantee that weld won't break right there. Okay. I didn't get a line just right and had a little trouble getting this pin in. I had to beat up with a hammer or something. That's all right. You're crooked. BFH. You're crooked. BFH did it. But anyway, one other thing I wanted to show. See mm -hmm. this tar? Mm -hmm. That's a Remington Wide Brute. Somebody has took that tar Dang. and had it recapped as a tractor tar. See? Uh -huh. That's a recap. That was a mud grip tar, Remington, mud grip uh -huh. tar to pair of them on the front of that. Uh-huh. And I'm having to use that little gas tank there. Uh-huh. Because this big gas tank right here uh -huh. got rust in it. And uh -huh. I've had it all uh -huh. and 
flushed it and this, that, and the other, and nothing I did worked, and it takes its fuel in from the bottom down there, uh -huh. and it fills up with real, real fine rust. We'll move the hole up higher. Well, that's what I was thinking about doing. I think I'll drill a hole in here uh -huh. and put a fitting in here, raise a piece of pipe in there that comes down but don't touch the bottom. Right. Sits up an inch or two. Right. And then put a good screen on it. Right. On the end. And what I've did around here. I've got this rigged up on it. Got a plastic filter that catches up real fine dust. Uh-huh. And the wires was all bad on it yesterday, so I cut all the wires off and rewired it. Uh-huh. Hey, wait, but don't never put a plastic filter like this between a fuel pump and a carburetor. Why not? It's all right on gravity feed, uh -huh. but that's a fire waiting to happen if you put fuel pump pressure against that because that plastic is that fuel pump will flex it uh -huh. as it pulses. And that uh -huh. plastic sitting up there it gets hard and old and brittle and it'll bust and spray motor, spray gas all over your engine and catch the problem. There'd been more fire started if you put a clear plastic filter up there. Put you a steel line or a steel filter. But anyway, but that's a little John Deere tractor. I like it pretty good, and it's one I'm gonna keep. I might have given me a boot to keep the water out of the transmission. I need to order a couple in. But I guess I'll pull the mower off and put my backhoe on it. I need my backhoe worse than I need a hay mower. Okay, sounds so good to me. So I say goodbye and good luck to y'all. <laughs> I think we're over 800 and 60 subscribers finally, uh, you know, and I, I want all the subscribers I can get. I'm just like everybody else. I'm greedy for subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> and Debbie does too. <laughs> but anyway, we're just out here having fun, enjoying life. Uh huh. Anyway, y'all have a great day and please like and subscribe to the Collector on the Corner. Thank y'all. Bye. Oh, and comment below. Bye.